New College Institute is offering fiber optic technician courses to give you the proper skills to launch a career in fiber optic design and installation. No prerequisites or experience required. Become 100% certified as a fiber optic technician through our FOA training programs. Average starting salary tops over $60,000 a year. Don't hesitate. Go online for details and register for classes. New College Institute. Opportunity. Growth. Success. Hi, I'm Olivia Garrett. I'm the Director of Institutional Advancement at New College Institute and host of our new show, What's Happening at NCI. Today is our first episode and we will be bringing you new content um, regarding NCI's programs, partnerships, and upcoming events every two weeks, so stay tuned. Here at NCI, we value education and community. Since 2006, we have been providing access to academic degrees, workforce training, K through 12 STEM education, and we're also a community space with large lecture halls and classrooms available for community use. Today for our first episode, we have with us Joe Sumner, NCI's Executive Director. He's going to share with us um, some of his experiences as Executive Director over the last 18 months, um, NCI's vision uh, for the next few years, and some other um, ex exciting updates that we have um, regarding our programs. Hi Joe, how are you? I'm doing great, Olivia. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Um, 2024, that marks a, a very important milestone um, for NCI. It's the 10th anniversary of the Baldwin Building. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Baldwin Building and who it is named after? Certainly. So the Baldwin Building, which sits on the Baldwin Block, right on the edge of Uptown Martinsville, is named after Dr. Dana Baldwin. Uh, Dr. Baldwin was a prominent member of the Martinsville community who brought new opportunities to the West End and to Uptown Martinsville. Uh, he did this through establishing a combination of child care facilities, uh, medical facilities, uh, clinics, uh, you know, shops, marketplaces, things that generally were not available to certain areas. Uh, the building is named after him and pays tribute to him for his work in our area in creating these opportunities. I would invite anyone that's interested to stop by and check it out. We, uh, we have a wall where we pay tribute to his work. And of course, we always try to continue his legacy by building on those opportunities that he has brought to Martinsville. That's awesome. And I know that um, the Department of Historic Resources had their Virginia Green Book initiative. And didn't we just get a marker under the historic placard on Fayette Street? Yes, we certainly did. Uh, if you check out the historic marker, as you mentioned, on the corner of Fayette Street there, uh, it designates that we are a Green Book location, and we're incredibly proud uh, to have that honor bestowed upon us, and we recognize the, uh, the weight that that carries on it and what that represents for the community. So again, we're honored to have that, uh, and we will do it justice, and we will carry forth that legacy. That's awesome. Yeah, I know I was looking on um, the Department of Historic Resources website and for anyone interested they do have a map um, of the Green Book locations throughout the state. I believe Martinsville has three or four of them of which NCI's um, the marker on Fayette Street is uh, one of those uh, honoring the Baldwin Pharmacy. Um, so Joe, let's jump into to our program. Um, as I mentioned, you're our executive director. You've been at NCI for, um, what, about 18 months now? Um, I know that you've been in the community, talked to a lot of people, shared your story, but for those who are you know, just seeing you and meeting you for the first time, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, be happy to. Um, first and foremost, you know, I'm excited to be here in this new platform uh, reaching out to new audience members. I, I like to think that I've um, made a good effort to get out in the community and get to know everyone, but you know there's always someone new that you haven't had the chance to get to meet yet. So uh, I encourage anyone that's interested, stop by NCI. I'd love to meet you, love to chat with you. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Georgia. Uh, <clears throat> I was raised in Georgia, middle class, hard working family, uh, what we call dirt road poor at the bottom of the swamp. Uh, you know, growing up for me, right out of school, the career options were pretty limited, agriculture, manufacturing, or perhaps military. Uh, so I went into the military, traveled the world, probably would have made a career out of it. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, was injured overseas, but the military took great care of me. They taught me a lot of things about training, a lot of things about discipline. Uh, and I've taken those lessons that I've learned, and I've moved on to a different career path after that, going into manufacturing, following my father's footsteps. 
Uh, somewhere along the way, I developed a, kind of a, a knack, if you will, for automation and robotics and really started to make a name for myself there. Uh, along the way, the, the love of training that I developed in the military kind of merged with the manufacturing skill set that I had developed. Uh, and I took an opportunity to change careers and enter into the world of technical training uh, mm -hmm. and career development. I uh, did several years following the manufacturing boom around the state of Georgia. Uh, again, just kind of being in the right place at the right time and surrounding myself with great people. I've, I've learned that great success comes at uh, the benefit of teamwork and being able to trust those around you to do their job and do it well. So uh, I've really had a great opportunity to kind of hone my skills as far as creating programs that lead to career opportunities and lead to upskilling and new mm -hmm. opportunities. So from there, uh, the next logical step from my career was to look at how can I bring the lessons that I've learned, the best practices developed along the way, and how can I share them at more of a larger scale and organizational level. Uh, I identified this opportunity here at New College Institute in Martinsville, Virginia, and came up a few weeks prior to the, uh, to the opportunity and just visited the area. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll tell anyone and everyone, as long as I'm here, that that was what really won me over with this opportunity was the community. Uh, getting to know everyone, just getting to see how this community that's right on the verge of just a huge boom and a, a great revitalization. I'm excited to be here as a part of that. That's awesome. Well, Joe, I can tell you that I very much value your leadership and appreciate being a part of your team. So I'm glad that you and your family are here with us in Martinsville. Um, before our commercial break, uh, what's your, let's get into a little bit about your vision for, for NCI. Sure. Uh, you know, at NCI, we look, to, we look to be in service to the community. We look to identify those areas that uh, create those new career opportunities, whether it's upskilling in the job you're in or whether it's training for a new skill, a mm -hmm. new career. So what's next for us? Uh, we have our fiber program that's really up and running. It's booming. Uh, we have some great things I'll share with you a little bit later about our law enforcement training that we're rolling out. Uh, and then, of course, our Longwood Teacher Education Program. So a lot of great things that we're building on, some successes from uh, existing programs, and some new programs that we're looking to roll out. That's awesome. Thank you, Joe. Um, everyone, stay tuned. We're going to um, break for a commercial, and when we come back, we'll share some exciting updates about NCI's programs. New College Institute is offering fiber optic technician courses to give you the proper skills to launch a career in fiber optic design and installation. No prerequisites or experience required. Become 100% certified as a fiber optic technician through our FOA training programs. Average starting salary tops over $60,000 a year. Don't hesitate. Go online for details and register for classes. New College Institute. Opportunity. Growth. Success. Hi, welcome back. My name is Olivia Garrett, the host of NCI's new show, What's Happening at NCI. If you're just now joining us, we have Executive Director Joe Sumner with us for our first episode. Joe, so we've um, during our our first segment, we um, discussed a little bit about you know your background and your vision for NCI, um, and we've had a lot happening over at least especially the past year that I've joined. Um, tell us a little bit about some of our recent successes. I know we just announced um, the Praxis is gonna be offered at King Hall. Can you tell us about that? Certainly. Uh, you know, we look to provide opportunities here in Martinsville that exist in Martinsville, Henry County for our population, for our community. Uh, <clears throat> we're proud of our Longwood partnership that we have, Longwood University offering the early childhood education and the educator program at NCI. Uh, but in order to support that program, we realize there needs to be a pipeline developed and there also needs to be a start to finish solution. One of those areas that we identified as lacking was the Praxis test. Uh, for those that may not be familiar, the Praxis certification is kind of the last checkpoint, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. that authorizes an educator to be present in a classroom. It certifies their skill sets, their knowledge, and their expertise. Uh, prior to NCI being able to offer the Praxis, uh, students could attend two years at the local community college mm -hmm. and then two years at NCI and they could walk away with their four-year degree for an, uh, as an educator. However, they were still left with trying to figure out how do I make it to Roanoke or Greensboro or a larger city mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. order to take the praxis. We saw that as an opportunity where we could step in and help. So again, in that same theme of bringing those opportunities mm -hmm. here locally, uh, we went through a, a pretty rigorous audit process and uh, I got to give a shout out to Stacy Davis who runs King Hall Testing Center, did a phenomenal job uh, in navigating that process and we were recently awarded the, uh, the authorization to offer the Praxis Teacher Certification at New College Institute. 
Uh, we've actually already rolled it out, and to date, we've had, I believe, about four educators who've gone through and taken the practice just in the last couple of weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I remember seeing, I think it started September 10th, maybe, so, yeah, a week. Um, that's great. Uh, so, and it's not, you can't take the test every day, right? You have to have an appointment, and it's just certain times? That is correct, yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you have any questions as far as the scheduling, if you're an educator, you can navigate through there, uh, through the practice site and locate us. You can also come to us directly, give us a call, check out the website or just stop by King Hall up on the square. Uh, we do have designated times where you will need to register. Uh, and then in order to provide those opportunities, we have also adjusted our schedule so that once a month we'll be open on Saturdays at the mm. testing center to allow those who are already working in their career fields mm -hmm. and such the opportunity to come and take the exam. That makes sense. And so King Hall Testing Center, I know we have a, a wide variety of, of proctored tests that we can offer. What, what are some of the more common ones that we tend to see? Uh, yeah, so along with the practice, uh, one of our most popular ones, uh, of course, we offer GED testing for mm -hmm. adult education students, but also we offer the uh, National EMT certification. Mm -hmm. uh, it tends to be one of our most popular ones, and we, we draw test takers from all around, uh, from up to an hour and a half to two hours away. Uh, they even cross state lines and come test from North Carolina. Uh, and then various other ones, including certifications for insurance brokers, real estate agents, uh, you name it. It's really a pretty impressive menu of certifications and tests that we can offer. Awesome. Well, um, everyone, I'd encourage you to visit our website, newcollegeinstitute.org, to get that contact information for King Hall. If you have any kind of proctored exam coming up, check with us first. There's high likelihood that we, that we offer it. Um, well, moving on to our other exciting developments. Um, We've had some from some news in the past couple months about our Milo Simulator in partnership with the Piedmont Regional Criminal Justice Training Academy, um, and we've we've recently expanded that, right? Correct. And uh, you know, again, I want to start out by just giving a kind of a, a thank you and a huge shout out to uh, Mr. Ben Ray, the director of the Piedmont Regional Criminal Justice Training Academy. Uh, this is a partnership that we entered into uh, probably about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were able together to uh, acquire a simulation device, which is uh, it's 15 foot across. Mm -hmm. It's a semicircle projection screen, uh, and it's essentially a, a virtual reality type training. Uh, the cadets, the, the recruits, if you will, from the training academy that are looking for a position in law enforcement will go through this training where they will experience various scenarios where they will be tasked with trying to de-escalate a situation in the most effective way possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we're excited because not only has it provided new training capabilities for those recruits going through the academy, but we're preparing to roll out a new addition to our training menu as well. So even though those recruits that are coming through are brand new to law enforcement and get the latest training on de-escalation techniques, we recognize there's a need for those who are currently in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Maybe those veterans who have 10 or 15 years of law enforcement experience already. So we're rolling out a new training opportunity that will be a four hour training session that is available to those who are already in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you think about maybe the smaller law enforcement agencies, those in rural areas that may not have this opportunity, uh, we will offer this training on a, say one Saturday a month. Uh, we will have a minimum and a maximum number, so it'll be limited. So if it's interesting to you, I recommend you reach out quickly because uh, it's proven to be pretty popular pretty quick. But the idea is to make sure that no matter how much time you have in law enforcement, whether it's your first day on the force, or whether you've been there mm -hmm. for 20 years, we want to make sure that you have the latest and greatest training opportunities available to you. Yeah, that definitely seems timely and relevant for our, our law enforcement officers. And then tell me, so if you say you work at a school or somewhere there's a you know public safety officer, a school resource officer, is that open to them as well? Absolutely. Uh, what I would say is that anyone that is within the realm of law enforcement or peacekeeping mm -hmm. officers, uh, there's absolutely an opportunity for training for you and we can provide customized training as well. So the simulation device does come with uh, thousands of different simulations, but mm -hmm. we also have the ability to go in and create custom scenarios where we are recording the actual video and footage of your site and of your location and we create custom scenarios that will depend upon your site, your personnel and their actions. That's awesome. Well, for more information, again, you can visit our website, newcollegeinstitute.org. And two more quick updates. Um, we have two new board members that were appointed by the governor to join NCI's board of directors. We have Marcus Stone. He is CEO of Connect Health. And we also have Lee Prilliman, who's a retired CPA and a business owner. Um, and it's, it's very exciting to have two local people on our board. Oh, absolutely. I know both of the gentlemen and incredibly proud of the fact that we have local community leaders that are uh, coming on board with NCI and just looking forward to the great things we can do together. 
That's great. And last but certainly not least, before we cut to our next commercial break, um, we did want to announce that um, you may have seen in, in the news, but NCI is in the process of setting up a new foundation to support NCI and the work that we do. Um, the foundation is going to focus on raising funds to support our programs, scholarships, and community initiatives. Um, so stay tuned. In the coming weeks, we'll have more details on that. Um, all right, we'll be right back for com after our commercial break. New College Institute is offering fiber optic technician courses to give you the proper skills to launch a career in fiber optic design and installation. No prerequisites or experience required. Become 100% certified as a fiber optic technician through our FOA training programs. Average starting salary tops over $60,000 a year. Don't hesitate. Go online for details and register for classes. New College Institute. Opportunity. Growth. Success. Hi, I'm Olivia on What's Happening at NCI, and we have with us Executive Director Joe Sumner. Joe, so we've talked about your background, some exciting announcements that we've had over the past couple months. Um, what do we have coming up over the next few weeks at NCI? Oh, we've got lots of great things coming up, Olivia. Uh, you know, just this Friday, we have the United Way who will be hosting their Day oh, of yes. Action. Mm -hmm. uh, so it starts off with a, you know, a great time that morning, and then everyone kind of identifying the different ways that they can pitch in and be a part of this initiative throughout the, uh, throughout the region. So excited about that. Uh, if you have any questions about that, I'd recommend check out their website, United mm -hmm. Way of, uh, of MHC. MHC, sorry about that. <laughs> um, you know, or just stop by and give them a call. Reach out to us if you have any questions. We'd love to see how, uh, how you can be a part of it. Uh, we also have a couple of graduations coming up, and these are always some of my favorite times. I, I really enjoy the times when uh, registration and enrollment, because you see people starting that new chapter of their learning and their training. Mm -hmm. uh, but then probably the next best step to that is seeing them complete it, seeing mm -hmm. them actually being uh, presented with that certification, that diploma, that degree. Uh, so we have a couple of those coming up. Uh, we have the graduation ceremony for the Piedmont Regional Criminal Justice Training Academy. Uh, again, this is, this is a stage full of brand new law enforcement peacekeeping officers that are going right to work the moment they step off of that stage. I'd encourage you to come out and check it out if you have any friends or family who are interested in it. Uh, and it's a great time if you're interested in a career mm -hmm. in law enforcement to stop by and talk to some of the experts in the field that can help yeah. you get started in that direction. Uh, we also have the Martinsville uh, Adult Education Program mm -hmm. that's having a graduation coming up. Uh, this will be a, a new opportunity for us to host this graduation in our uh, Martin Lacey Lecture Hall. Mm -hmm. And we're just excited about what these individuals have accomplished as they get ready to kind of move on to the next chapter in their life and see what we can do to help them find their next step in their career. Oh, that's awesome. And I know the um, Regional Criminal Justice Training Academy, that's on September 27th. And then the Adult Education graduation will be on September 30th. Um, I, we also recently had um, a, new, a new chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness um, started, and it's NAMI MHC, I believe is what it's called. Um, they have offices in our King Hall building, um, and they are going to be offering family-to-family -family classes at NCI. The next one is on September 24th at 6 p.m. Um, and these family-to-family -family classes are free, evidence based educational classes targeting um, people who have loved ones with mental health conditions. So if you have um, a parent or a child or a, any, any loved one where you need um, access to additional resources and support, um, then you can, I'd highly encourage you to join NAMI MHC's uh, classes. I think they're offering them on a, a, a pretty regular basis. Um, and you can find out more information about that at visit um, by visiting facebook.com forward slash NAMI, the number four MHC. So, thank you, Joe. This has been uh, a good first episode, I think, on, of what's happening at NCI. I know it's our a new strategy for us to be able to share um, our updates directly with the local community, so hopefully everyone bears with us. But um, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for having me, and, and thank you to everyone that's watching. Uh, you know, as, as a state agency, we want to make sure that we're doing our part. We're plugging into the community, and we're, we're listening and reacting to your needs. So, uh, you know, I would just ask anyone to let us know what type of opportunities are out there as far as training, as far as career development, any way that we can help to be a part of the solution. Uh, we'd gladly welcome those conversations. I agree. And I know, um, so we have a, a lineup over the next couple weeks. As I mentioned, we'll have new content coming to you every two weeks. Um, in the next episode, should be around the beginning of October, we will have with us 
Dr. Sushila Shanta. She is our um, Chief Academic Officer at NCI, um, and she is planning an upcoming event called Cyber Awareness Program for Seniors, also called CAPS. Um, it's the second year that we're doing this. Um, last year it was very successful. We had about 80 or so attendees, um, and it's, it's all with the focus of um, ensuring that our seniors in the community um, are vigilant online that they're learning best practices of how to identify a scam, and they also have the resources in place um, to, to be able to, to take the appropriate steps that they do feel like they have um, been in, involved in some kind of scamming situation. Um, and I, I believe we're, we'll have, we have um, Valley Star, Carter Bank, Credit Union, um, Just Call Granny, some of our local law enforcement agencies um, are all going to participate in this event on October 17th. So stay tuned for our next episode. Um, it'll be a lot of great information that you won't want to miss. Um, anything else, Joe? Any final words? No, again, just thank you all for this opportunity to, to share with you. And, uh, you know, we welcome your feedback. Again, uh, let us know how we're doing. Uh, let us know what opportunities that we can help to create for Martinsville Henry County. Awesome. Well, thank you to our viewers for joining us today. Um, as Joe said, NCI is here for you. So let us know if you ever have any, any feedback for us or if there's any questions you want us to answer on one of our segments. Um, so stay tuned um, to BTW21 for more updates. Well, you're welcome to visit our website at newcollegeinstitute.org. You can also find us across all social media platforms at New College Institute. Um, and so we will see you uh, next time on what's happening at NCI. Thank you.